a flying bug. You might want to remember that they could be a pollinator. Bees, butterflies, moss, wasp, all kinds of animals help with flowers and food production too. You got a chance to celebrate their role in ecosystems this weekend. Taylor Jones is from the Guilford County Cooperative Extension. Karen Williams is with its Master Gardener Volunteer Association. They're here to tell us about the big event tomorrow. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. So you brought some plants in and you brought some bees, which are pollinators too. Sure. I think the more we learn about the ecosystem, the more we're not really scared of the bees, but we kind of understand them better, don't we? Correct, yeah, yeah. So honeybees uh, in particular are, uh, you know, responsible for food production and all that kind of stuff. So it's really important for folks to understand that they don't just have stingers and they're not out to get you. They're actually serving a purpose. It seems like this is kid stuff and oh, it is certainly good to bring kids. But this is something adults need to know too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I don't know about you, but I like to eat. So yeah, we can thank true. pollinators Very for that. True. You work with, with a lot of not only, you know, farmers, but gardens. They play such an integral role, don't they? Uh, they do. I mm -hmm. mean, one of the things we look at is the different plants you can plant for the pollinators so mm -hmm. you can attract them. So the ones that you can, can you know, we're, we're thinking of this hive here, but the plants that, that work as, as something to bring them into. Correct, yes. That's they want food for plants so that pollinators can come and collect the pollen, collect the nectar off these, and these are all native plants that... So, so tell me what we're looking at here. What, what are ones that, if you want to put something in your garden, that are good for pollinators? Well, these are blooming now. This tall red Dr. Seuss looking one is called mm -hmm. Bee Balm. Mm -hmm. uh, this pink one is a yarrow, and it comes in different colors. There's yellows, there's whites, there's pink. Mm -hmm. And this one that was open yesterday afternoon has decided to close up is a Stokes Aster. Mm -hmm. And this is something that master gardeners like you can help people find out. That maybe this is the best spot in your house, whether it's sun or shade, places that it will grow and flourish, right? Right. We can help people pick plants for the right spot and put plants where they're going to thrive and grow and be happy and pollinators can come. I think a lot of people don't really understand the resource that both of you represent. I mean, everybody has questions. They always want to have this great house and a great garden and great shrubs and all that, but they don't know where to go. And, you know, the Master Gardeners and Cooperative Extension can work with anybody in, in any county in North Carolina, right? Absolutely, yes. So we're in all 100 counties and as well as the Eastern Band of Cherokee Nation. Mm -hmm. um, and anybody who has any questions, uh, of course, gardening and, and natural resources and outdoors, but we also have programs for uh, families and, and communities as, as, as well as youth. Okay, so the, the, the pollinators, the event we're talking about here is yep. happening tomorrow. Is it kind of a drop-in thing where you can just stop by and see what's going on? Absolutely, yep. So Celebrate Pollinators Day will be tomorrow, 9 to noon, at our office in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. um, and we are super excited. We'll have some honeybees there uh, tomorrow, but we'll also have lots of other booths, uh, activities for the uh, kids, and some takeaways as well. So activities for the kids, I think that's always fun because they, they come and see and learn, and they get to do something fun too, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, we've got bee hotels. We'll have master gardeners. Bee there. hotels. Tell me about a bee hotel. <laughs> what, what is that? A bee hotel is a habitat for some of the solitary bees. So mm -hmm. these bees live in a hive, but other bees like to live in cavities. Really? So helping make a habitat that you can. So it's like a give little, a little a literally a bee, bee hotel. hotel. That's yeah, neat. Absolutely. So you'll have those that kids can t take or, or create. They can create yeah. while we're there, and we'll have master gardeners to answer questions and uh, just come in, wander around. I learned something Enjoy today. the day. Bee hotels. They, they build up points and then they can stay at other <laughs> frequent hotels. <flyer. laughs> frequent flyers. Frequent bees out there. Hopefully they're frequent flyers around here. Thank you for telling us about it. It's, it's really beneficial, not only for our little square, but for everybody, for the farmers and your neighbors and everything. We appreciate you telling us about it. Celebrate Pollinators Day is happening tomorrow. That's Saturday, June 25th, 9 to noon. It's a free event. Just drop by. It's open to you, people of all ages. And again, it seems like your kids are going to love it. They really will. But adults, this is important too. It's at the Guilford County Cooperative Extension Center's Demonstration Garden. That's on Burlington Road in Greensboro. Learn more about the event and all the work that Master Garden volunteers do to protect these pollinators and so much more by going to guilfordextension.com. Emily, did you know about Bee Hotel?